Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Adam. You're watching Steady Invest. In this video, I want to cover a stock I've already covered in the past called Giga Metals. Ticker symbol Giga, and it trades on the TSX Venture. And they own an absolutely massive nickel mine in North British Columbia, and the company is currently worth about $50 million, whereas I believe the nickel mine will be worth billions and billions of dollars in the future. This is because of the importance of nickel in the electric vehicle revolution. Think about it. Batteries need a lot of nickel, and nickel is a very scarce material, and the demand is going to continue increasing over the upcoming years. Not to mention, the nickel that's going to be mined at the Turnagain project is going to be ethically sourced and carbon neutral. And consumers, aka car manufacturers, are willing to pay a pretty penny for ethically sourced nickel. And as we'll see in a moment, it's not economically feasible right now because of the price of nickel. If you believe in the underlying commodity and that the nickel prices will increase over the upcoming years, this investment could pay you huge returns. However, junior mining companies don't come without their risks as well. This is a penny stock right now. Although I do believe in this company, I don't want to scale too hard too fast in case we see any short-term turbulence, in which case I can slowly add to my position. So before we get to the video, smash that like button. It helps my videos get out there. As well, if you're new, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. All right, looking at Giga Metals chart first. So we were trading anywhere from 15 cents over here up until maybe 30 cents or so. And then we can see that volume started to pick up back in July. And why was that? July 24th, 2020, Elon Musk pledges giant contract for sustainable nickel miners. July 24th, that's smart money right there. So it jumped up, jumped up again, and then that fake story came out, went up huge, and then it crashed back down. And then that's when I learned about the stock myself. And then you can see these green triangles and red triangles. I started trading the stock because of how volatile it was. And then I started doing research on the company and then I really liked what I saw. And then I made a plan with price targets on how to invest in the company long term. So you can see all these green triangles and just dollar cost averaging all the way down. So looking back at August, September and looking at where we are right now, you can see right here. You have a nice support at 50 cents. But at the same time, the support doesn't necessarily have to hold. So if we break through that line, we could fall all the way down up until here at about 30 cents. So, so it's very possible I could lose 50% if it drops all the way to 30 cents. But again, I'm looking at this very long term and if it gets down to 30 cents, I will gladly buy more. And if it were to drop, though I don't think so, all the way down to 16 cents, it would be a no brainer for me. But remember, high risk, high reward, know what you're signing up for. And this is actually why I like stocks so much. Everything you do is your responsibility. You cannot blame anyone else but yourself for buying or selling whatever you decide to do. As of right now, the company is valued at just under $41 million. An overview of the company, they have 100% ownership of the Turnagain Nickel Cobalt Deposit in British Columbia. The company is seeking strategic partners to advance this project with the objective of commissioning a 20,000 tons per year nickel sulfide concentrate facility in 2026 that would ramp up up to 37,000 tons per year in the second stage. The company has recently reported an updated preliminary economic assessment, PEA, that models production of an average 33,000 tons of nickel per year over a 37 year mine life. And please pay attention to this point here. Turnagain is one of the few global nickel resources that can meet future demands for sustainability and ethically sourced battery grade nickel meeting all environmental social governance criteria. And I like how they put this in bold, massive deposit. Over 2 million tons of contained nickel. Potential to provide 37 years of supply at an average of 33,000 tons per year for nickel production. So the concentrate is 18% nickel and 1% cobalt. And they can do traditional refining or direct treatment via pressure oxidation. And this is excellent because the process is clean, easy, and cost efficient. They're located in a stable jurisdiction with access to deep water port capable of shipping to Asia or by rail to continental United States or Eastern Canada. They could sign a deal with anyone, Tesla, Neo, BMW, Ford, Electrica Mechanica, Workhorse, Lordstown. They have what electric cars need. And they have one of the world's best and limited supplies. They have an excellent relationship with the indigenous communities and this is extremely important. As it can't be overlooked whatsoever, you need to be on good terms. They're targeting to be the world's first carbon neutral nickel mine. And as they continue drilling, they could find more nickel that they haven't even accounted for yet. And they're having targets, guys, of 2023. So we have to remember, this is a long-term play. Subject to project funding, construction could begin in 2024 and can be completed by mid-2026. We're looking at five, six years here, guys. 
This could also very easily be delayed, but let's see how they execute. However, what they're saying here is that it's a simple process that's globally practiced and translates into short construction and commissioning timeline, expecting full production within 12 months of commissioning. Not bad. Their preliminary economic assessment project cost estimate. So phase one of the mine, which is years one to five, would cost a total of $1.4 billion. And phase two would be just over a third of the price at $530 million. And over the life of the mine, $4 billion. And if they get external financing for their infrastructure, this could also reduce costs as well. And we can see here the concentrate quality turning is very competitive compared to everyone else. As I explained in my first Giga Metals video, it's not currently feasible in these current economic conditions with nickel prices being so low. So we have Turnigan here in the green, and this Ramu is a real mine right now in Papua New Guinea, but, but it's an HPAL mine, which is a high pressure acid leach mine. So we can see here, none of them are economic at $6 a pound for nickel. At $8.50 a pound, it looks a lot better, but at 11 it looks really nice. The Turnigan mine is an open pit one, low erosion potential, Deep deposit minimizes deforestation and pit water collected and used, whereas with HPAL, strip mining soft deposits, high erosion potential, river contamination, thin deposits increase deforestation. And this is Southeast Asia over here, it's called the Coral Triangle, recognizes the global center of marine biodiversity and a global priority for conservation. And remember, they're dumping their waste in the ocean. Car manufacturers really care about this. You can see here the deforestation and you can see here the erosion. And look at the difference in water from July 2007 to 2012. Turnigan is in a low seismic hazard area. And you can see how susceptible they are to earthquakes. We can tell that Giga Metals has really done the research and knows what they're doing. And seeing the difference between Turnigan and all these HPAL mines, I really like how management is approaching this. Remember, the CEO Mark Jarvis has had this mine on hold for years now, just waiting for the perfect opportunity. He saw the revolution coming, nickel prices increasing, and then he resumed operations with this mine construction. They're moving purposefully, and I really like that. Although this company is still years away from reaching their full potential, I do want to start investing in them now, as the valuation is still very, very cheap. Remember, high risk, high reward. I only own a small portion of my portfolio in Giga Metals. As always, thank you very much for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of Giga Metals. As well, if you're in Canada and want to start trading with Wealthsimple or Questrade, use my links below. We'll both get free money. See you guys in the next video.